It is happening. This is the final production unit of the Pimax Crystal, Pimax's latest high-end VR headset. Now, because this is one of the first headsets of the mass production, this is also the same hardware that you're going to get if you have pre-ordered the headset or if you're going to order it. In this video, I'm going to unbox this and show you exactly what's in the box, and I'm going to hook it up for the very first time. So. Absolutely stay tuned, watch the whole video because all of this goodness is coming up. And here it is. This is the final production unit of the Pimax Crystal. I can't wait to check it out and find out what's in the box. Before we do that, hello there. My name is Sebastian Ang, and if you're excited about virtual reality, you should absolutely subscribe to MRTV and click on the bell button so that you don't miss anything. But now, let's check out what is inside the box. What do you get for $1,699? This, <laughs> a Pimax crystal, yes. So lots of things in this box. Let's check it out one by one. So let's start with this part here. This is the battery, or actually there are two batteries. This is the spare battery. And why would you need a battery? Well, the Pimax crystal is also a standalone headset and you can hot swap these batteries. Let's check out what's in this little box and well, these are two USB-A to USB-C cables in order to charge the two controllers. We're going to check out the controllers in a moment here. Let's get the main event out of the way first. We're going to check it out a bit later. All right, then we have this here. This is a second facial interface, like a thinner one. And as you can tell, this is some soft material, something that we've seen before with Pimax. And yeah, that feels very good on the skin when the skin is not sweating though. Yep, so this is the thinner one. Now, let's check out the controllers. And as you can tell, these controllers look like most other controllers right now for standalone headsets, right? So yep, just the same button layout like the Oculus Touch controllers, which is a good thing. Two buttons, that analog stick, and actually we have two menu buttons. One of the menu buttons is a Pi, Pimax button, okay. We have trigger, we have grip, and nothing really out of the ordinary. Interesting about these controllers is that they have full capacitive touch for all the fingers. So if you're into yeah, VR chat, well, you could use them. And well, USB-C to charge them. You're not going to use batteries here. I'm more the fan of batteries so you can easily exchange them, but I know some of you also prefer charging via USB-C. Okay, you got something to read here and well, actually there is a manual there and uh, yeah, everything you need to download the software, we're going to get to the setup process in a moment. All right, this is the charging case for the batteries. So whenever you don't use the battery, there are two batteries here, you can charge the other one. And I like that. And here USB-C to charge the batteries. Another box here, so many things in that box. You're getting a lot for your money here. There's a five meter cable, this. This is the cable and on the one side here, this will connect to your crystal and on the other side you have two USB-A and one display port. Very, very important, five meter long. Then here, in this box, the DMAS headphones, these are really good. You want them. You don't want the original ones that are connected to the device. You want the DMAS and you get it if you order before 30th of June. All right, but now let's get to the main event, the Pimax Crystal, the super high-end VR headset from Pimax. You are getting two displays, two QLED displays with a resolution of 2880 by 2880 pixels per eye. The whole thing is local dimming powered, so you get real blacks here, and you get this here, a spheric lenses, and that is truly the star of the show. These are aspheric glass lenses. So you get super nice edge-to-edge -edge clarity, you get a nice sweet spot, 
and you simply get a crystal clear picture. And I can tell you that already because I've already checked it out for quite a few times. Also very important, no glare and no god rays and no distortions. Very cool. Yeah, here are microphones and a USB-C port at the bottom of the device. Here is another USB-C port here for firmware updates and so on and so forth. Then here on the top, on the left here actually, you see that? This here is the IPD adjustment. Well, there's going to be automatic IPD adjustment once the software is finalized because there's also eye tracking here with the device. Then on the right here's the volume rocker and the on and off button. The whole device weighs around one kilogram, but well, it is very well balanced. That's, I can tell. Here, there's another switch and you can switch from PC VR to standalone mode because, well, this is not only a PC VR headset, no, this also has a standalone mode, but in this moment, the standalone mode has not yet been activated. Okay, the cable goes from here to there, and this is actually where you put in the cable that I've shown you a moment ago. Exactly here. Yes. And then you, you will lead the cable through this here. And yeah, that's it basically. Yeah. Let's have a look again here at the bottom. And here, the back part of the device. This is where you would put the battery in. Yes. So right now the battery is going to be good for like six hours of playing time. And then afterwards you would have to exchange the batteries and you can do that in a hot swapping manner. They're actually targeting eight hours with that battery. And well, this here, this is the original speaker, but well, exchange that for the DMAS in order to get the best audio that you can get. On the other side, also those speakers that, in my opinion, you should better exchange for the DMAS. And again, if you buy this before 30th of June, you're going to get the DMAS included in the package. All right, let's check out the top here because there's another port here. And actually, this is a mini HDMI port. What is that for? Well, in the future, they plan to supply you with a YGIG module and this is where you would attach the YGIG module. As of now, this is not ready yet, just like the standalone mode. So I am actually using it as a wired PC VR headset and that's what most of you will do. Yeah, so these lenses, actually they are exchangeable, but right now they are fixed here with this crew. So that is fine in my opinion because, well, I also didn't get like um, other lenses with this. The other lenses are not ready yet, but once they are ready, Pimax will send them to you. That's important to understand. But honestly speaking, these are the best lenses I've checked out so far, the 35 PPD glass lenses, and they are now in that package and they will give you a great experience. All right, so here it finally is, the final production unit of the Pimax Crystal. It is happening. And yeah, this is a nice piece of VR hardware. As you can tell, I have already, already replaced that standard audio with a DMAS. And for all of you who are going to order this before the 13th of June, you're going to get them for free and you should go for them because the audio is just so much better. Yeah, so what can I tell you about the unit? Well, I have seen the unit before, but this is the first time that I see the final production unit and it does look better. So here now, we um, I'm going to plug the cable into this here now. Before, on my unit, I had to directly plug it into the headset. So that is already better. In general, yeah, as I said, this is a nice piece of VR hardware. And this is without a doubt an enthusiast device. And here, this is what I'm most excited about. Obviously, the glass, spheric lenses, and the visuals. Now, this obviously is way bigger than something like the big screen beyond. There's no question about it. And it's also heavier. 
but well, you do get those spheric glass lenses and well, they will give us that crystal clear picture with a super nice edge to edge clarity. Well, I, I can tell you that already because I have one in Taiwan and uh, well, I've been at the Pimax headquarters. Anyways, I'm excited to have this here now, the final production unit that you are also going to get. So what am I going to do? I will tell you now about my feelings about the build quality. And yeah, you, you saw it in the unboxing. This does look really, really nice. Yep, it's a nice piece of VR hardware. Now, what I don't like about it, and yeah, I also mentioned that before, these buttons here, they do feel, ah, they could be so much nicer. This feels like plastic that has been painted with some metallic paint, you know? And ah, if this was real, this would feel better already, right? So it does not yet reach that arrow and valve index kind of feel in terms of build quality, but I would call it at least solid. Absolutely. This is like a solid piece of VR hardware and Pimax is getting better and better from yeah generation to generation. So as always with these unboxing, I'm going to do the face on test and yeah, let me put that on. Okay. All right, so without a doubt, I can feel that kilogram on my head. But what I can also tell you, it is balanced. So this is not front heavy at all. This is balanced. And well, I believe I could be in this for a long time. But well, I have to try that out. Now, I'm sure you are not going to buy this for the comfort. You are going to buy this for the optics, for the visuals, right? And I cannot tell you with a straight face that the comfort is amazing after I've tried the big screen beyond, right? This is way heavier. And well, you can feel, you can feel that mass on your head. And I know already if I would make like fast movements, the mass of that here, it wants to keep on moving in the direction that it's moving. So I would say this is not perfect for games that require you to yeah to move your head violently i think that is more for yeah for experiences for simming where you're sitting in your plane and you're yeah you're flying and you enjoy the yeah the view right the crystal clear view i would say that is better for something like that but yeah i will anyways i will try that all out and i will let you know about my experiences. So I would say if you if you know how um, Pimax KX feels like, if you know how like um, HTC Vive Pro feels like, something like this. But actually, I like this better than the Pro because it's not so it's not too soft here. For the Vive Pro, this back part was too big. So actually, yeah, actually, I like the back part of it. Yeah. Right. That's what I would say about comfort. I have to play that for hours and hours to really tell you my final thoughts about it. But that is at least balanced. So, you know what? Now I'm going to hook that up to my computer and well, I will let you witness it. You're going to see what happens when I try it for the first time. So let's see if Pimax has actually improved with their onboarding with the first user experience. Okay, step number one, <laughs> connected the cable. Okay, so it's good that we have some documentation here, content in the box, operation guide, PCVR. Okay, PCVR, switching to PCVR mode. Okay, cool. How to download and use the Pimax Play? Confirm Steam VR has been installed. I have that. So installing the Pimax on the computer. Okay, that worked. And here we go. All right. So MRTV Sebastian device. Okay, you know, I, I believe this should be the moment of truth and I should just connect it. I have charged the battery for probably probably an hour or so. I'm gonna put it inside now. 
Let's see if that works out of the box. Now I'm going to turn on the device. Here, here is a button. Let me do it. I'm going to long press it. Okay, something is turning on. <gasps> setting up a device. Oh, we're setting up a Pimax crystal. It's it says. <gasps> oh my God! Will this work? In the first try. <gasps> oh my God! It has worked on the first try. Start Steam VR. Okay. Wow. The clarity is is so 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 amazing the clarity is wow it's it's fantastic like absolutely fantastic this looks just incredible ha huh. this looks it's, this uh, yeah, this looks truly, truly incredible. Those lenses, it's it's great edge-to-edge -edge clarity. It's beautiful colors. Wow. And like a nice FOV, like a, yeah. Like vertical, it's, it's fantastic, but your horizontal, horizontal is also good. Like just a bit shy of the of the index, I would say. But it's just so crystal clear. Ha! Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh. It is. It is. Um, yeah. It is without a doubt the the best and most beautiful picture quality that I've seen in VR so far with a nice big FOV. Not as light on your head as the Big Swim Beyond, of course, but it is still, it is acceptable. Well, if you have worn uh, HTC Vive Pro, Pro 2, Pro 2 or 8KX, you know what you're up with here. Yeah, it's it's a super nice bright image. Super super bright. Oh wow, I really like it here. <laughs> okay. So 90 FPS struggling a bit. It's a high resolution, very high resolution per eye. I set it to 100% and that means it's like, uh, what? 4,300 by 5,100, wow. Not sure if this is supposed to be like that, but it looks amazing. Wow, okay. So let's see how it works with the persistence blur. No, that, that looks fine. Okay. Wow, this is this is fantastic. So this is perfect black now, but I do see blooming around now the white things. Okay. Wow. This looks so good. This is just like wow. Follow echo leader. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what can I say? It looks incredible. Just unbelievably clear. Super nice colors. Yeah, it's, it's just it's just really crystal clear. Wow. Okay. Yeah, so for everyone who has already 
like uh, pre-ordered this, you are in for a treat. This is incredible. Oh, this is so, this is so clean. <laughs> this is so, oh my goodness, yeah, yes. And doing some voiceover for this part, as you can tell, I'm playing Beat Saber to check out the controller tracking here. This is an inside out headset, so you don't need base stations. As you can tell, it works fine. But would I buy this for playing Beat Saber? Probably no. All right, so that is some good news. I was able to set this up in the first try and it directly worked. No bricking of the device, nothing. And there was even a nice manual that you could follow. Well done, Pimax. This is truly better. And for my very first um, impressions, I've checked it a bit now here. Yep, this is just as good as I remember it. This has the best visuals right now. Yes, this is the new king of clarity. This does look better than the arrow and this also looks better than the big screen beyond. So we have that crystal clear image thanks to the aspheric lenses. We have a high resolution, we have nice colors and we have deep blacks thanks to the local dimming. So yeah, this is good. And also the DMS, right? The DMS sound, it just sounds as good as the Valve Index audio. Nice. I really like this a lot. What are the downsides to it? Well, obviously, right? It is a heavy device. One kilogram that you have to wear on your head. <laughs> well, that's a different story here with the Big Screen Beyond, right? So you're not going to buy this because of comfort. Anyways, this is balanced out, right? So again, if you're used to wearing something like the HTC Vive Pro or Pro 2 or the 8KX, then you know what's going to happen. But it's not front heavy, so that is, that is fine. So who is that for, in my opinion? Well, in my opinion, this is something for people who want simply the best visuals in VR right now, period. You want to play Microsoft Flight Simulator in the most beautiful way that is possible right now? Here you go. You like um, Elite Dangerous, for example. You want these dark blacks. Yep, thanks to local dimming. Here you go again. It looks fantastic. You play um, Sim Racers and you want an incredible experience. Yes, you also get this with the crystal, right? So that is truly beautiful for people who want the best visuals. And that's not only for gamers. Honestly speaking, I also think this can work very well in a corporate environment, right? If you simply need to have the best visuals, this could be your headset. For who is it not, in my opinion? In my opinion, this is not for people who want the most comfortable headset. This is not this is not something for people who want to have like, um, yeah, an experience where you can move your head in a fast way and yeah, forget about the headset, right? Because well, there is some mass involved, and if it moves, it moves, right? So, so then uh, yeah, something like the Big Screen Beyond is better, or even. Something something simple and wireless, like the Quest 2, yes, still, or the Pico 4 will be a better solution. So, in my opinion, this is something fantastic for seated experiences and for everything where you would need, yeah, simply the best visuals. Now, right now, I can only check the wired PC VR mode, right? So, I don't know yet how is this going to perform as a standalone headset. Will virtual desktop be on it? And how well will the wireless be? I don't know yet. So, everything that I said right now, it is, well, all about the wired PC VR mode. I'm really glad that Pimax got so far. Again, this is the production unit and they're sending it out right now and you can order it right now from the Pimax website. The link is down in the description of this video. And as with all of my reviews, no matter if it's for Pimax or for Big Screen or for any others, there's an affiliate link down in the description of this video. So if any of my videos will help you for your purchasing decision, I would of course be happy if you use the MRTV link so that also in the future you have unbiased and honest 
yeah, videos and reviews just like this. But this is not the review, right? This is actually the unboxing and uh, yeah, the first setup and the, the light first impressions. You're gonna get way more videos because obviously I will test this here on my 3080 machine, right? I know lots of you don't have a 4090 and they also wanna know how is this on a 3080? You will get these videos, but also I will also get a 4090 to also check this with a 4090. But my first impressions are really good. I, I know this device, right? But it's great to have the final unit here. And as it seems, it does deliver with these beautiful aspheric lenses. That's everything that I got for this unboxing, first setup and light first impressions video here on MRTV. Please do let me know in the comment section what interests you the most. What do you want to see? Do you want to see that more on the 3080 or on the 4090? Which games do you want to see? Um, yeah, what details do you want to know about for the final review? Do you want AB comparisons with, with, with the Big Screen Beyond? I think you want, right? So do let me know all of this in the comment section. And if you want to uh, discuss with me, if you want to chat with me, we can do that on the MRTV Discord server and the link down in the description of this video. That's everything that I got for this video. Don't forget the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.